Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Domekeeper. We have been sent to another planet. We're currently inside this ball, and we'll be crashing down. Oh, no, don't look up me. Oh, dear. So we have just destroyed a native, uh, and unfortunately, we're probably going to annoy some other natives. Uh, but the reason I'm playing this again is because there are now mods on the game, and this is a brand new character where this one I get to... Can you see I've selected that square down there? If I let go, we drill a sort of hole down to it, and then if we go through that, it makes like a little a little portal thing. So we can fire several of these at once. So let's fire straight down and to the sides. Um, and basically, as we go as we go and fly through the rocks, it destroys the rocks behind it. So if we just fly through like up and down, up and down, then suddenly we're making some progress. So I'm going to head down to where the rocks change color because that is where the upgrades are located. And whilst it's doing that, I will just dig through some of these just because I can only fire three at once. So it makes sense to sort of help out. Right, you can see that's changed to brown, which means somewhere around this sort of level, there should be an upgrade. So, ah, oh, there it is down there. And once we've smashed through this half of the upgrade, we can then dig two more holes because that's the only the sort of downside with this one is it only works in like a two way grid or three by three grid. So it does take a bit of time to be like a bit accurate with your drilling. But if we smash that out and then the one next to it, then we should have the resource. Uh, the only trouble is resources and these upgrades, they cannot travel through the teleporters until they're upgraded. Uh, so I will have to go back and just sort of quickly smash my way through because my upgrade cannot get through the teleporter until the rock has been smashed like that. I'm extending this sentence so long I thought it would have smashed by now. Come on. Well, at least it gives me time to say this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. You probably already know that Ridge make great wallets, but did you know they also make the Ridge beveled ring set? These rings come in a variety of premium materials that match the wallets. Here's the stonewashed titanium and here's the alpine navy, which is made from tungsten. The ring has an outer beveled edge and an inner convex shape for a comfortable no pinch fit. And each ring comes with a dual band silicon ring. Ooh, squishy. But when you want to be more comfortable or casual, head to ridge.com forward slash engineer and use code engineer for 10% off. That's ridge.com forward slash engineer. Thanks to Ridge for supporting the channel, but let's get back to today's video. Oh, man. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. So back to the surface, and then we get to pick our upgrade as we're being attacked by one of the natives. Uh, unfortunately, the gadget is either a condenser or a resource converter. Not what I wanted. I wanted a brand new modded weapon. Uh, let's go with the condenser. Let's laser this guy in the nuts because I'm pretty sure that is his weak spot. <laughs> and then let's head down. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drill to the next layer because I've done about... 10 games and still haven't got this modded weapon. I'm not even sure if I've installed it properly, but hopefully it's just bad luck. And then as we dig down, come on, this ground's so hard. This ground's so hard. Yes, okay, we're at the next color layer. So this is my next opportunity to get another upgrade. Oh, there it is to the left. Lovely. So we'll go dig a hole over that way, remembering to keep clearing this path. And then as before, we've got to clear that out and then dig two holes down or up, depending what way the upgrade is. All right, it's up. So we do one hole there, one hole there. And as they're digging, we keep mining this path out. Come on, 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 come on. So we take this to the surface and fingers crossed. Yes, it's the Hydra launcher, which is a brand new modded weapon, which will hopefully change everything. So first off, let's get into battle. Let's I've got three bits of iron. So let's get the hostile proximity meter. So that bar on the bottom left, it's nearly empty. So basically, we're about to be attacked. Uh, I probably don't have time to do a lot. I can maybe just clear out a few more tunnels this way. Anyway, we're under attack. So I'll use my laser to get rid of those things in the sky. There's one gone. Uh, oh, I can fire my Hydra rockets. Oh, look at those. Boosh. Okay, decent. So yeah, Hydra missiles, they fire loads and loads of missiles at once, which is going to be really, really good later on. Uh, for now, though, I need to actually collect all these resources that I left behind at the start. I remember, resources cannot fly through the teleporters, so we got to sort of just bring them to my lift. Thankfully, because I've done so many rounds, I do have the lift upgrade already. But yeah, we'll grab this cobalt. We'll then do that bit to get the water out of there. Nice. Shove that in the lift. And then I guess we just return to a bit of strip mining, Ooh, which has worked out because we found some iron over there. So I'm just going to get a tunnel ready to go to it. Head over to the left, fire more drills up and down. You can see bottom left, we got half our time remaining. So plenty, don't need to panic yet. 
Right, and then, oh man, I'm going to have to go through this so many times. I need to upgrade this fast. Because, yeah, that took way too long. But yeah, right, we're about to be under attack. So I'm going to head to the surface, try and get there before the aliens do. And then a bit of battling. So I'll take you down. Remember, I got my Hydra missile. Let's get rid of the tadpoles with my laser. Then, can I fire? Can I fire more missiles? Oh, I can. Boosh, eat some of that. Okay, well, now we've got some resources. Let's do some upgrades. So for the Mole Man, there's, there's all sorts of things we can upgrade. Move speed, the tunnel length. So we can go to two, three, or four tunnel lengths long and remember as we fly through the portal they will that will just destroy like more rocks so that should be really good actually we got carry strength not too useful as we have the lift and then down here i think we can only pick one of these two upgrades because they're in a rectangle so we've got q tunnelers so basically, you can just make everything sort of dig in different directions. Or the mineral extraction that allows resources to fly through tunnels, which is actually really good. Yes, yeah, so this bottom upgrade, this actually allows you to do less damage to the dirt because you can, you can sort of set up like a chain of like sending resources through the tunnels and like making them go really quick and stuff. It's so that sort of that one. This one is the destroy everything upgrade path. So I think I'll probably take that to be honest. Um, and then also the where's the Hydra missile? Yeah, the Hydra launcher. So I think battery capacity, that's how many shots we get like per round. So we had two shots last time. We can increase that to three. Um, oh, and they do recharge. So there is a recharge speed, which is good as well as missile damage. Oh, that nearly doubles it. Okay, I reckon more missiles is better for now. Um, and then we'll just head down and continue drilling. So I think my upgrade allows me to shoot sort of twice. So if I point down and then I do another one down. So if I go down here, look, it's already shooting. So if I go right, it sort of does two in a row now. Which basically means I'm clearing out a serious amount of area. Uh, but I do, need to, I do need to go back and make sure I actually can get all these resources to, to the lift. All right, so here's a load of iron. That's going to be very useful for upgrading. So you just go in the lift there. Thank you. All. And we'll clear this path out so I can get all the resources to the right. I can see there's quite a lot over there. Still, they're all ready to go up. I can see some iron down here. So I guess I should do like my double, my double shot. Yeah, that has cleared some out. Love to see it. So we'll clear out another path up this way just so I can and get that iron out. Although annoyingly, that is the end of my time. So I'm going to get back up. All right, it's so a battle. Get rid of you. I think I need to shoot the tadpoles myself. I don't think my hydras are very good at it. Oh, more tadpoles on the left. Right, sod it. Hydra missiles. Fire. Three batteries worth. Yeah, they're not very good against tadpoles. So I definitely do need to keep my laser upgraded. Anyway, I feel like probably worth giving myself some move speed. I feel very slow at the moment. Um, if I do tunnel length as well, I can then upgrade the tunneler strength. So then I don't have to go through it as many times. I think I need that because I'm already sick of like flying through the same bit of tunnel over and over. So hopefully as I fly through these, it should destroy a lot quicker. Although this is particularly tough land. So maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> All right, there's a little bit of iron. Shove that in the lift. I'm going to send some drills that way while I go through here. All right, so there's a bit more iron in there. I should probably go back and do this level because I didn't really finish this one. So we got some water. That will do us. Shove that in the lift so they should get taken up at some point. I'll go and grab this coal bolt. All right, and then I found a load of iron that needs destroying. So we'll just fly through this a load of times. Oh, loads of resource. Loads of resource. Anyway, back to the surface. Fire the Hydra missiles. Boosh. Oh, I love the Hydras. All right, we're being attacked from the other side. Fire the Hydras. Oh, they didn't kill it. They didn't kill it. All right, just fire Hydra missiles constantly. There we go. There we go. Okay, should probably get a health bar just so I can see what my health's doing. We've got like three quarters health, so that's probably good for now. I'm going to spend all my Cobalt making my dome harder. So that means we take 40% less melee damage. Uh, then I'm going to increase my carry strength. All right, so then I'm going to go through this way. And you can see, look, I can now go three wide and another three. Um, I think I do want to do the three wides, but maybe not down. I think down I want to go with every, every two. Because otherwise I will like start to miss stuff. All right, got some iron here. So grab that. With my carry strength, I can move these no problem. And you got more here. So I'll go along three and then another three. Smash this first wall. Boosh, shove all that iron in there. All right, and then from down each of these, I'm just going down one. Because I think that's the right thing to do. Then I can just fly through these tunnels loads of times. Ah, oh, it's quite satisfying doing like loads in one gate. And then free that iron, shove it in the lift. Get this cobalt. 
Thank you very much. Get this water. We're going up and down. Decent. Then resource train. Choo choo. Into the lift. And then I should probably just grab some. Take them up to the top. Because we're about to be under attack. So I've got loads of iron. Quite a bit of water. So I might increase my missile damage. And then add another battery as well. Or, oh look, we've got teaser missiles or also trackers. Fires additional missiles automatically at enemies while the hydro missile is at. Oh, so that's just more missiles again. Or is that one teaser missiles stun enemies but deal must much less damage? Oh, I don't think that's very good. That halves my, that halves my damage. So sod it. Missile damage up and then we'll do that one next time once we've got enough iron. So for now, we battle and then we hope that my new... My Hydra should be good. Oh, that is a boss over there. There's a thing in the sky as well. Hydra is very good now. Completely annihilated that wave. So we'll head along this way. Oh, we found... Is that the portally thing? Okay, found loads of iron down here. That's quite insane. So I'll smash ground next to it. Then I can get a better run up through these. Oh, there's more iron to the left as well. Okay, this is good. This is really good. So we smash through all of these. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that. So that is a load of iron. I'm going to grab this end and then resource train it just so I can get all of them to over here and smash through this piece. Then we've got all the iron in the lift at the bottom. Look at that. All right, then do a load of digging to try and get the iron over here that I found. And then it's back to the surface to pop tadpoles. Die. All right, then we fire hydro missiles, which hopefully get the ones in the sky, not the tadpoles, you knobs. Oh, no, there's tadpoles everywhere. There's tadpoles everywhere. All right, keep firing the missiles. Keep firing the missiles. Oh, no, we're in trouble. We're actually in trouble now. Maybe the Hydra isn't as good as I thought it was. Why are they trying to get the tadpoles? Uh, Dome not in the best shape in the world. So I'll spend a cobalt repairing. Although first, I think I'll spend five on getting more health and then repair. Because that's worth more because it's 15%. All right, I may then go for... Let's make my tunnel strength really good, I reckon. And then we'll do this one, the tunnel splitters. So they should just split in like every direction. So let's head down and have a look. So if we fire a tunnel down, we can then split it. Oh, in like loads of directions. Oh, so they're just going to fire like everywhere, basically. Oh man, it's mental. Like in a, in a good way, mental. It's just quite hard to actually control like what you want to do. <laughs> I'm just like holding A and just letting it do its thing. I mean, we're getting loads of iron, so I'm not going to complain. It's just digging tunnels in every direction possible. I love it. This will probably be my downfall, just making it like too complicated. And then probably missing stuff because I'm doing that. But yeah, for now, just tunnels in every and any direction. Oh, look, we're down to the next. We're down to the next level as well. You know what that means? Another upgrade incoming. All right, there's some iron there. We'll grab that and we'll send tunnels out over there. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's just an absolute mess. All right, another tunnel up, another tunnel wide for some reason. Get these resources back. All right, on my way up, I'm just going to send send tunnels every and any direction. Okay, right, back to the surface. Hopefully not too many tadpoles this time. Right, Hydra Launcher, two big bosses. I'll deal with the thing in the sky. The, oh, the missiles aren't doing a lot. They're not doing a lot. And my laser is not upgraded. Oh, they're bu big fists. Oh, okay. Phew, that was actually close. I may need to upgrade my laser. So six iron just to give myself more power. I think it's worthwhile. Because hydras, although they're good, they're not the most reliable thing in the world. So we're just going to keep digging just randomly pretty much. And we'll see what happens. All right, cheeky bit of cobalt. Oh, cheeky bit of water as well. I'll have some of that. So I'll just go back to the lift, shove them in the lift. After we smash those, there we go. All right, and then after a bit more mining and a lot of dragging resources to the lift, we then are ready to battle the tadpoles again. Now, I got a better laser this time, so we should be good. Let's fire Hydra missiles. Oh, why do they always go for the tadpoles? Okay, fire missiles, fire missiles. Oh, there's a big Zubat in the sky. No, a Golbat even. It's bigger than a Zubat. It's down. Okay, we're good. And because we got so many resources last time, that does mean we can upgrade our Hydras again. So I think I'm going to do the Auto Tracker because that's just extra missiles. 12 iron, 3 water. We can definitely afford that. I can also afford the missile battery extension. So now we should fire 4 at once. What's the next one? Increases the number of missiles to 8 from 4. Okay, so we need 18 iron. We can do that. Let's go. Okay, found some iron. Just got to try and release it somehow. Okay, I think we're on it. I think we're on it. We're mining in like every direction. So yeah, shove those in the lift. Do more drilling. More moving of iron. 
And then, oh, we can afford it if we had some water. We just got to get two more water. Anyway, let's battle. Hydro missiles everywhere. Oh, that was quite a good round. Anyway, back down. We need to find some water this time, which I now have, which means we can now max out these. Boosh. And then we can just make them recharge quicker if we want, shall I? Yeah, I guess. Why not? Okay, so we now shoot them every 1.4 seconds. We can get that down to 0.2 seconds, but I need five more iron. Oh, it's just constant missiles. I'm loving this. Oh, dear. You should not have spawned that. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. Okay, so now I've just got to go and find some more iron and stuff. Okay, so we've got lots of iron stacked up in the lift. We'll head back to the surface. And then, oh, look, our penguin's doing sit-ups. He is priming himself. We're then going to take that upgrade. So we're going to be shooting hydro missiles every 0.2 seconds. Oh, wait, I've already, I've already got it. So I'm shooting over 32 missiles a second, which is 115,000 an hour. Okay, so yeah, you can see when we shoot the missiles, there's like a little bar. That's how quickly they fill up. So basically, I can shoot unlimited missiles. <laughs> I don't even need the laser anymore. Okay, that's the end of the round. Nice. Okay, I will say my tunnel is an absolute mess, though. Like, it's quite hard to get around. There's just tunnels everywhere. But for now, I want to see if I can do another, another level without actually firing my lasers. No, we're good. I think we're good. Just constant missiles in the air. Love that. Anyway, you got a bit more iron to try and mine down here. So I'll just zip through this. I say zip like I'm not spending like two or three minutes on each one of these trying to bash through it. Oh, no, we're under attack. We are under attack. Thankfully, as soon as I get there, I can literally just jump in, say battle, and then just fire missiles. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I'm loving this. I got loads of iron for upgrades. I think I should probably upgrade myself. Let's make tunneling strength better. And then longer tunnels, why not? Okay, then I'll just mine out this iron so we got loads to upgrade in a little bit. All right, and then we're good to try and find the bottom of this place, which I think we have just found. Okay, yeah, that's definitely the bottom. So we're probably gonna have to go left or right. I guess we go left first. We can do, oh, we can do so much mining. May as well send some right as well. And then the game crashed. Thankfully, there is a continue button. Anyway, another battle means another load of Hydra missiles. And honestly, I think I could survive the final wave uh, without any more upgrades, potentially, because it's just constant missiles. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go unlock that and I'll see you guys in a bit. Now, as we'll head up, you'll see I did a way too big of a map. <laughs> this place is absolutely huge. Anyway, we're back at the dome. So Relic goes in and then we can get ready for the final battle. I'm just going to do a cheeky upgrade. Uh, maybe in vulnerability from a dome? Nah, actually, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I don't need it. I've got Hydra missiles. That is all I need. I'm shooting eight every 0.2 seconds, remember? Um, so basically, I imagine... Oh, look, there's the boss. There is the boss. I imagine nothing will be able to get close. I mean, I should be shooting the boss because it's like stunned, but I'm not going to use my laser. I'm going to try and do this just with the Hydras. Oh, it has spawned two big boys. They are coming over with their fists, but I think we should be able to take him out with the Hydra. Yeah, the main boss is gone, so it's just everyone else remaining. We did it. <laughs> Didn't even shoot a laser. And the dome is saved. So yeah, really excited to see what other mods people come up with. But uh, Hydra and Mole Man definitely approve. For now, I'll say peace, love, and missiles. Bye, guys.